I've definitely got what it takes to throw a fantastic dinner party. When it comes to the cooking, that's the area I'm concerned about. Ah, got a plan up your sleeve? I'm doing Mexican food because I went there on holiday once and uh, had the best time ever in a resort. So very authentic then. And Adam's kicking off with his starter, chicken taquitos with guacamole and salsa. Chicken taquitos, I would say. Taquitos. It's obviously chicken based. It's like a special type of wrapping, like a parcel. Over to the expert. When I went to Mexico, I think I had burger and chips most of the time. So I actually found out about taquitos on Google. Part of my tactic is hoping that people haven't tried this before. So if I get it wrong, they're not going to know. They'll know if they don't like it, though. Adam starts by seasoning his chicken before adding a sprinkle of mild chilli powder and a couple of slices of fresh chilli. I'm hoping there's not too much spice. Looks like Adam's going pretty easy on the fresh chillies, so you might be in luck. So now I'm going to make the bit to go with the chicken, the sauce. Oh, hello. Salsa from the supermarket. Which Adam is mixing with large dollops of sour cream, again from the shops. Normally I'd measure stuff when I know what I'm cooking. Uh, this one I'm shooting from the hip a little bit, so it's going to be hit or miss. He adds even more creaminess with some soft cheese before mixing. Look at those colours. Pretty beige. But how does it taste? Whoa. It's actually pretty good, man. The supermarket will be glad to hear it. With the chicken done, he starts to pull it apart. This chicken now, like me, Shredded. <laughs> Looks aren't everything, you know. It's not got a huge amount of flavour, if I'm honest. Maybe you can add some pizzazz with your sides. I mean, obviously, if he makes the guacamole and salsa, he's obviously got to get the balance right. Some people don't add enough salt. Some people don't add enough, like, garlic. And some people leave it to others. The, the guac is um, shop bought. These are just a side dish to the main event, which is the starter, so they're really not going to have that much of an impact. While he's oiling his tortillas, interesting use of a spatula, the others are speculating about his theme. What if one of his exes were Mexican and then he mm. thought, boom, I like that kind of cooking? Make her obviously an ex-Mex. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> yeah, I see what you've done there. Back in the kitchen and Adam's plating up. Whew. They are looking crispy. The piece that's going to make controversy tonight is my shop-bought guacamole. So I've made everything else tonight, so maybe I'll steer the conversation towards uh, the bits we should really be focusing on. Anything but the food, then. And there it is, Adam's take on chicken taquitos with salsa and shop-bought guacamole. Just give it a go, see what you think. It's the first time I've made it. This doesn't feel very spicy. When I was um, just trying it now, I was thinking, yeah. gosh, this, this is meant to be Mexican and it's not really spicy. No, I'm, I'm loving it. And actually, you've, you've won me for the starter okay. because it's not spicy. Yeah. Oh, no, that's good. So it's, that's it's, good. I'm pleasantly surprised. For a Mexican, uh, I thought it was incredibly under-spicy, very underwhelming on the, in the spice world. Uh, but it was edible. Actually, there wasn't any spice at all. So actually, it suited me perfectly. Oh, well, at least Izzy's a fan. Let's hope no-one asks about the guacamole. I wanted to ask if the guacamole was homemade. Oh. I wanted to focus my time on the main dish, mm. and that did mean that the side dish, yeah. which is the guac, took a bit of a hit on it. The guac shop bought... I think the guacamole, it would have been nice for it to have been homemade, cos it's not that difficult. I would have made my own guacamole, if I'm, to be fair. <laughs> I, I would have done, yeah. If you're serving it, obviously, one of your main parts of your starter, really, it should be homemade. Disappointed. You know, it is what it is. You know, I didn't make the guacamole, so deal with it. That's the spirit.